Hey guys, Adam here with a tutorial on how to get something just like this where you have one icon on your iOS springboard which is made up of folders inside of folders. The first step of this process is to put new stand inside of a folder. In order to do this, you're going to get two icons and make a folder out of them. And as you make the folder, you're going to grab your new stand icon. So do it just like this. It's pretty simple. Just watch how I do it. Grab videos or whatever icon you're doing. Make a folder. And as you do that, grab new stand, put it on top of there, let go, and now it's inside a folder. The second step is to fill up that folder with all the other icons that you have available on your springboard. Once you're done with that, you should have something just like this where you have 11 other icons with new stand inside of a folder, and you're going to go ahead and put that folder inside of another folder. In order to do this, it's pretty simple. Just do the same process you just did before with new stand. So get clock, put it on top of mail, and grab that folder, put it into that folder, and there you go. The final step is to fill up that folder with the remaining icons you have on your springboard. So as you can see, there's going to be two remaining app icons, and you guys probably know what to do with that. As you can see, it's filled. Now you're going to go ahead and make a folder out of these and put that folder inside of that folder, and you will now have one folder, and that's all on your springboard. So guys, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Two things to note here at the end of the tutorial is, number one, if you have more app icons than me, then I'd recommend before you begin uh, following this tutorial is to make a folder with a bunch of different folders inside. So pretty simple, just go ahead and make one folder, put a folder inside of that, and keep going until all of your icons are all filled up into one folder. And then continue the process where you make uh, you know, new stamp, put it into a folder, put that folder into your other folder, and all together you guys get the point. Now the final thing to note here is unfortunately once you have that folder you're actually not going to be able to use the icons inside of it just because you know this is kind of a glitch and when you tap on it it will crash but the icons that are in the folder besides that one folder inside of the folder are usable so for example uh, you know maps is usable phone is usable and all of that. So anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial be sure to subscribe and thanks all for watching.